Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Gal. We're playing some more Legend of Zelda Second Quest. At the end of last video, I realized that I was missing one thing I needed before I continue going on, which is, of course, more rupees. <clears throat> so, I went ahead and did a quick grind, just kind of went in a circle here, and got up to the 80 rupees that I need to get the arrows. The reason we need the arrows is because you can't use the bow without them. And we actually were going to be getting the bow, and we actually are going to need it within the level. Uh, arrows also cost rupees to use. Like when you each time you shoot the bow, it costs one rupee. So we will need some more, but I'm not gonna farm for it because we should only need one arrow in the actual dungeon. So level five is in the same place that level four used to be. They kind of swapped places, which is interesting to me. Very glad we have the magic sword for this, because like likes are not fun. That was barely fast enough. Uh, like likes, if you're not aware, eat your shield. That was a red bubble which means that we lose our sword until we get over here to this blue one. It's fine to get hit by the blue one as much as we need to. In fact, it's actually good for damage boosting. because it doesn't do damage, but it does give you uh, invincibility frames. Get this key from this hidden room to replace the one that we just got. Then head down the stairway. This is a really neat dungeon because it has multiple stairways required. It's not just a, oh hey, you did the thing and found the path to the boss, like some of them are. And whiz robes, as always, are awful. Okay. Well, at least that's done, question mark. <laughs> that is Goma. And that is our bow. I guess technically we wouldn't have needed the arrows for this. Because uh, I thought that the door here closed behind you. It does not. I'm also very glad that those statues don't shoot. Very, very glad that we got that fairy. That'll save my medicine a little longer.
Okay, that'll get us back to our starting point here. With bow in hand. Uh, that was the only use we are going to have for it in this dungeon. But it is just a good item in general. It does a decent amount of damage from a, a from full screen. And obviously, once you get the uh, once you get the silver arrows, that's even more so the case. Finally got a map in one of these levels. Very glad we got that. Not that we actually needed to kill those guys, but, you know, still good, still nice. Actually getting the compass as well. Gasp. Unfortunately, that's really obnoxious because that means that we're down to three hearts. That's the one I wanted. I am shocked that that is actually the one I wanted. Definitely not complaining about getting more bombs. good news is, we've already gotten several of the things cleared here. We've already got done our side missions, so theoretically, we don't actually have to kill anything, except for the stuff that's in our way. Very lucky there. Come on. Okay. I hate whiz robes so much. They are by far my least favorite enemy in this game. <laughs> I don't know if they're the worst enemy in this game, but they're my least favorite. Unhandla, another mini boss. Oh, thank you.
really neat colored bats. Uh, which apparently, we got the lucky hit on the leader. <clears throat> And we're almost at the end. This is a pretty... It's neat because this is, like, one of the levels we actually covered the entire thing. But it didn't feel super long at the same time. No tricks on this one. This is, honestly, I think that is actually one of the first levels that has not had any required hidden passages or anything like that either, uh, which is a little odd thinking about it. So, at this point, At this point, we actually have a little bit of flexibility technically. I guess I don't see a reason not to just continue on. Pretty much just go, go, go from here. Uh, for this level. It's... We already got the ladder. I love the magic sword. It feels so good after having not the magic sword for so long. So the trick with this one is that it's actually really straightforward. He said as he got absolutely wrecked immediately. I don't know what the pattern is that I'm looking at. Oh, okay, yep, that would have not been my first guess. I screwed that up. We may be taking a death here and starting over, but that's okay. Let's see how far we can get. I'm totally okay with respawning in enemies here. Use our medicine. This is a extremely harmless room. This is basically here if you lose your sword to red bubbles. 
um, which is ominous in and of itself. <laughs> I feel like at this point we don't want to mess with the... Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. There's a key in a room to the south, but it takes a bomb, and at this point I think I've got enough keys for what I st still have left. So, the end of this is basically a gauntlet. Um, we have that one, or the two headed Gliok, and we just lost our sword. Um, so, we actually have to go all the way back to those blue bubbles to get it back. Technically, if we had medicine, it would be okay, but we don't. <laughs> You know, I guess the other side is, technically, you can beat the two bosses that we would have had left without the sword, <laughs> which is an interesting prospect unto itself, but I think I'd rather have it for Manhantla. I might be, uh, slightly more okay with, uh, with it if I lose my sword again in this room. Yeah, this room is rough. Five red bubbles is a lot. <laughs> That's too many red bubbles, I'm just saying. Whoever thought that, that many red bubbles was a good idea, they're a bad person and they should feel bad. Wait, can we just go up? That's slightly annoying. <laughs> we totally didn't need the sword. I am sucking it up here. six, or five and six. Um, we got the bow. We took out the two Goma-infested levels. And we are ready to continue. Uh, I will say, before we continue, I will need some more rupees. Um... The reason that matters is because level let's see, level seven we actually technically wouldn't. Um but I would really like some medicine back before we get there. Because level seven is awful. <laughs> uh it is large, it also has a money or life in it, so we do need uh, the 50 rupees for that as well. And medicine is 68, so 118 for that. Uh, level 8, we need the meat, which is another 60, I believe. 
has additional bombs for another hundred. So we that, that's like 150 more or that's like 300 more rupees. Um that's a lot. So I think my plan I'm not going to do I think I'm going to try and go harvest enough for the medicine and the meat first. Um and buy those off stream. So that I can continue just grinding until I get enough. With that, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.